what's up guys Dirty Fargo here and I've got a skeleton XP slash drop farm tutorial here for you and this is on 1.3.1 the official relief release of Minecraft 1.3 and so I'll just show you what these levers do here so when this is up the spawner is disabled when it's down like it is now the spawner is enabled as you can see and this lever when it's up it is a drop farm and when it's down like it is now it is an XP farm so yeah let's let's demo this and I will see how many XP I can get from 136 zombies and I am currently at 0 XP let's see how high it takes us alright so to get the rest of the XP I have to switch it to drop farm mode so you just switch this to up make sure there's no skeletons in there and then you can collect all your drops and gather the XP so we got to level 26 there, not too shabby, not too shabby. And so as you can see, when I flip, switch this to up, the two blocks right there get removed and they fall two blocks further down and that fall ends up killing them. Alright, so I figured I'd cover a little bit of monster spawner science here while we're at it. So this pink wool here represents a 17 by 17 by 9 square area. And it's within this area that if there is more than 6 or 6 or more of the same type of mob as the spawner within this area, then the spawner will get deactivated, meaning it will stop spawning mobs. So basically what that means is wherever you have them drop you want it to be outside of this pink wool area which mine is directly one block outside of that area so it works out perfectly this lime green wool here represents the area in which you need to be within so that the spawner is active if you notice when I go outside of the green wool area the spawner stops flaming and stops spinning so that means it is not activated anymore and will not spawn any mobs so where you stand to kill the mobs needs to be within this lime green wool area alright so the first thing you're going to want to do is find a skeleton spawner and disable it by lighting it up with torches then we can begin to decide where our ceiling and our floor should be so if you want to just place one then two and then three blocks on top of the spawner there that third block is going to be where your ceiling is so you can just go ahead and fill this in. Then we're going to want two blocks of airspace below the spawner. So we take the block below the spawner and dig down one and then two. And then we bring the whole floor all the way down to this level. Note that I have these two blocks on top of the spawner here. These blocks are going to stay here because we don't want any spawning to occur on top of the monster spawner. So the next thing we're going to do is pull up our F3 screen and look at our F values. And in the direction F2 and F1, we're going to want the wall to be four blocks away from the spawner. So, for instance, one, two, and then it's going to go back two more, three, four. And so the wall is going to be right here. So this goes all the way to where the wall is going to be. And the same with direction two. One, two, three, four. All right. So in the directions F3 and F0, the wall is going to be three blocks away from the spawner. So one, two, and three so this is where our wall is going to be right here and so same thing with F1 one two three so the wall is going to be right back here in case you didn't know the F value is just below the Z so I'm just going to continue to hollow this room out to where the walls need to be alright so then you should have an 8 by 8 room once you're done clearing that out there and then you're going to want to find your wall that's on F two so once you find that wall you delete the block right at your eye level right at your feet level and right below your feet right off the wall not the one right below you but the one right on the wall just like so then you're gonna wanna find your wall that's F3 and place a water in the trench on that side then you're gonna wanna go to the opposite side where the water is flowing and which is F1 and just do the same thing as before just delete the block at your eyes at your feet and then below and then you're going to start another trench right over here. So this is going to be a three block little trench. So one, two, three, just too high. And then we're going to want to get our sign out here and place one sign right there on the third block in on the very bottom at our feet. And then di diagonally up and to the left, we're going to place another sign. And then we can place the water right at the bottom here where the trench starts and so the water is going to push us to where this sign on the bottom is so now that you've got these trenches set up and pushing you into this block here with with the water in it you're going to want to dig about 22 blocks upwards so right now we're at 29 so that's going to be about 51 that we want to get up to so I'm going to dig up to there now and you're going to want to play to place a water source block on every single level so about 12 blocks up you're going to want to place a sign 
in one of the blocks instead of the water source block and this is just so the z zombies or skeletons get a chance to have a breath of air so they don't take any damage from drowning. So once you're up to where you want to be you want to look in the direction F2 and then you're going to want to delete the block right at your eye level then right above and hop onto it and so you're the Y level now at the way you're sta where you're standing should be exactly 22 blocks higher than the Y level when you started at the bottom. So you're going to want to dig six blocks in the two directions. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And these last two could be one lower, just like that, because this is going to be where we drop them down. So what you're going to do is place a sign right above the water source right there and signs all the way along, all the way to the edge here. And then once you get to the edge, just go right and then diagonally upwards and place another sign. And then place vines below that and then a button below that. Then what you're going to want to do is place iron bars right next to where the vines are in the trench that we just dug. Then you can go ahead and place a water source right over the signs. And this will flow over the signs and push you off this little edge here. Then what you're going to want to do is dig 24 blocks down and while you dig 24 blocks down you're gonna wanna have iron bars all the way along just like this so once you've got 24 blocks down I'm at 27 that is 24 blocks below 51 so then you can place right below where the drop is you can place another block so they're gonna fall 23 blocks and then just lower the iron bars down so whoops like right so so that there's a little crack right here so that you can just barely hit the zombies and they can't shoot their arrows at you. Alright, so the next thing you can do is if you look at the wall that's F0, you can begin to place water all along that edge on the bottom block and this should push all the mobs into this trench we created from before. Then all you have to do is remove these torches and you should have a fully functioning XP farm already. The only part that's left is the fancy features that I added in order to turn it into a drop farm and toggle the spawner on and off. So once I close this up here, it should be fully functioning. Alright, so there you go. You can see that it clearly works and you can hit them down with one shot. Now we just gotta get a way to get the drops or turn it into a drop farm or toggle it on and off. Alright, so it doesn't matter what way you do this from or which blocks you choose to use. But what you're going to want to do is delete these two blocks here you had set up. And then to the side of this, you're going to want to place two sticky pistons facing that way and two of the block of your choice in front of it like that. Then you're going to want to come around behind these pit sticky pistons here. So what you're going to want to do is have one block below where the piston is. You're going to want to have some redstone dust going straight into the piston. Then you're going to want to wire it to wherever you want the lever to be. So... For instance, if I wanted the lever to be here, I could put the redstone wiring just like that, put a lever here, and we're good. So now we've already got a toggle switch between XP mode and drop mode. So XP mode, when you want them to die automatically, you just press that, and there you go. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is install the light system. So that's really the last thing to do. So you got to man up, go back in here. I have it on peaceful right now, so I'm not really manning up, but... Yeah, you're going to have to probably relight it in here just so you can do a little bit of work and shut down this water stream just so you can walk around properly. But what you're going to do is go to each corner and count one, two, and on the second block you're going to take that block out and replace it with a redstone lamp. So do this in each of the corners, one, two, bam, one, two, bam, one, two, bam and then this isn't quite enough so on one of the sides where there's four blocks away and then a wall so this side one two three four or this side you're going to want to replace the block right beside the spawner with a redstone lamp and then that should be a perfect amount of light once we have it all lit so before you leave just remember to take out your torches and the blocks that you place to stop the current alright so then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is clear a space on top of your spawner you see I got it all cleared out here and then you're gonna wanna take some redstone start in the middle here on either side and just wire it right all across straight straight line down the center and then carry the wiring just right to, right before the, the each redstone lamp on each side, just like so. 
and then these should all be powered once the, once they're connected so if you place the lever here yep that turns them all on turns them all off all right good to go so now we're just going to need to bring this wire and carry it downwards all the way down to where our kill room is so to do this i've used a way to carry wiring downwards which is using torches so if you just have if you just go to one corner whatever corner you really want to carry the wiring down this is just how i did it so if you just go to one corner place a block and then place a torch under it then a block then a torch then a block then a torch etc then you can carry carry the signal downwards so all we have to do is wire the wiring into this cobblestone block here so an easy way to do that is probably just to carry this wiring along here and just go straight into the block and there we go so I've already done this but once you get to the bottom of your wiring you're gonna wanna figure out where you want your lever I have chosen to put mine right here just cause I think it's a good spot right on the opposite side right opposite to the other lever and then you're just gonna need to wire that le lever all the way to right into the cobblestone block where the torch is so just wire it straight into it like this. I used a repeater because the signal didn't quite make it as you can see here. So you, I just needed one repeater and then the signal makes it. And then now that lever will control this tower system of torches which will control these lights. So let's just go ahead and give it a test here. So the wiring is off right now and so are the lamps. So the wiring is off and the lamps are off. Flick the lever, turn the wiring back on here and see if the lamps are turned on and if they are then we have successfully completed the whole system yes we are done so I'm just gonna demo this quickly show for you guys show you that it works alright so as you can see right now the wiring is on so the redstone light lamps should be on so they should not be spawning but as soon as I flick this switch here they start to spawn pretty instantly so now we'll just see how it works and as you can see it is working fine so yay now you can do this to pick up the drops and we are done you guys so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope I did a better job than last time so I'll see you guys next time